All right, today we're gonna to be doing a little comparison video. We have a 2023 Ford Bronco in eruption green, sitting on Fox shocks. It's very hard to find right now. We're gonna take this car for a ride. We're also gonna compare it today against the 2023 Land Rover Defender, all blacked out. Not as much horsepower. Bronco's sitting on 413 horsepower with 400 pound-feet of torque. And here's 296 horsepower with about 290 pound-feet of torque. Looking at both these cars side by side, one of them is about 105 to 108,000. The other one, is about 90 to 95,000. So which one would you rather own? Both of them, same miles. It's a pretty hard decision to me, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comments. So comment below. And again, guys, this is George J. Saliba from sellmyev.com, jsautohouse.com, exoticauto.com. If you guys are looking to buy, sell any vehicles at all, hit me up in the comments below, all the links in the description. So we're gonna take the Bronco for a ride right now. We're gonna talk about some features, some really cool things and how it drives. And we're also gonna talk about the market for the car. And we're also just gonna drive the Defender today to compare it. And I'm gonna let you know which one I would rather own and drive. So let's go for it. All right, first, when you get in, you have to grab that handle. All right, how does your hand feel right now on that handle? Amazing. Amazing, like yeah. you can just like hold on to it forever. Yeah. The grip on this handle is wild. So nice, awesome red seat belts. You have the differential locks up top and love this. This is like about a 10 inch, 11 inch display. My favorite thing about this car, straight up, heated steering wheel button right in front of me in all the basic AC controls. On the steering wheel, you're gonna have your steering controls because you know this is the Ford Bronco Raptor, that's where they sit. And then you're gonna have your R mode, uh, which is basically, you can set it up in your mode settings and specify specifications to how you like to drive the car. Suspension, exhaust sound is right here. You have quiet, normal, sport, and Baja. All right, we're gonna leave it in sport. We're gonna take it for a ride. We are gonna drive it in sport mode so we can get a little bit of that exhaust sound. All right, we are out of here. So we are driving a 3.5 EcoBoost. I have driven a F-150 Raptor before. I mean, this is, it's got the speed, it's got the horsepower. Now that I like, compared to the regular Ford Bronco. Yeah, nah, like. 2.7 versus a 3.5 liter engine. Uh, you really can't compare. But this is like a super utility, you know, off-road vehicle, man. I mean, like in the sand dunes driving this thing, taking this thing off-roading, you're not gonna feel anything. These tires, these wheels on this vehicle are like absolutely, beefy, meant for off-road. Uh, I did drive this car earlier today just to get a feel for it. And I mean, if you're comparing this to like the Jeep, the V8 Jeep, you're gonna get way better handling in this. Uh, if you're comparing it to like, you know, a 4Runner TRD Pro, it's gonna be more like ballsy, more, more horsepower, more torque. And it just looks the best. I mean, like the robust stance this thing has just sitting you know, on concrete, in a parking lot. It just looks so badass. You have these huge wide fenders. It means fast. Gets up to 60 pretty quick. It sounds good. The gas pedal is super responsive to the noise. You just tap on the accelerator and it responds, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go into some of the handling features on this car. I'm gonna put it in uh, sport mode. The steering wheel stiffens up and uh, just like steering wheel, awesome. You know, just going over the wheel, the aesthetics of the wheel. This is a Raptor, so it's gonna have the beefier steering wheel. Nice orange sport line going down the middle of the wheel. And it's just, it's a comfortable car to drive. Super soft ride. Only thing I wish was was an option is a hard top. You can take these off, which is really fun in the summer, but just for like wind noise purposes, I'd rather have like one big hard top piece, maybe like glass panel going down the middle, a little more luxury. This is like a felt material up top here. So I mean like, you know, this is made to be like top off, doors off, beach, off road, you know, more fun. But that is one thing I wish was an option. On top here, you're gonna have all your auxiliary controls for all your like aftermarket LED lighting you can put on the exterior of the car. And you know, that's basically it, man. It sums it up like it's got extreme character on the road, a lot of power. You can drift it. You can do donuts in this thing, you know, it'll skirt. So, I mean, it's, it's fun. 
You know, if you're in the market for, you know, something like this, extremely sporty, off-road, you want that handling, you want that capability, then this is what you're gonna go for. Um, the only thing is pricing on this thing. You know, these are very hard to get right now for good reason. Demand is very high. Sticker can go up to $80,000, fully loaded, spec'd out. All right, we're going up right here. Just riding off a curb. Like, you don't feel nothing, man. Like, this thing is just sick. If there was an apocalypse, this would be the first thing I grab. Now, we are gonna drive a Defender after this. I already know it's not gonna be like my apocalypse choice, but you know, this is definitely, it's fun, man. It's fun. I mean, you're gonna have a smile on your face driving this very often. To sum up this video, I wanna talk about current market prices on this car. Uh, many of you know, it's a car that's selling over sticker right now. Sticker on this one's about $78,000. And uh, we paid 95 for this car. So they're selling in the used market for about $108,000. It's not such a secure market right now. Prices are fluctuating at the end of the year. Uh, more inventory is becoming available, but these things were selling for way more money, you know, on auction sites such as carsandbids.com, Mannheim. These things were selling for like 115 to 120 when they first arrived. So right now, most we're paying for this car right now is like maybe 95, maybe 97, but uh, prices came down a lot on these. And uh, I wanna know what you guys think regarding pricing on these Raptors, if they're gonna hold, if they're gonna be making a lot of them, what's it gonna be like to get one? Many of you might already see the F-150 Raptor R that's coming out, that's gonna be doing like crazy money over sticker. Comment below what you guys think on where pricing is gonna go, if any of you guys are ha or have bought and sold a couple of these, if anyone's looking to sell Bronco Raptor, or any Raptor at all, any car at all, you can hit me up. All my links are in the description below. And uh, if you guys are looking to purchase one of these or or uh, inquire or ask any questions, you can visit me online, visit us online at jsautohaus.com and you can get in touch with me. Comments below, you can message me or you can get in touch with me at sellmyev.com or exoticauto.com. Now we're gonna take the Range Rover, the Land Rover Defender for a ride and we're gonna see how it competes against this. All right, so now we're in a vehicle that I could drive across the country in. So just looking in the interior here, we're in a 2023 Land Rover Defender V6 SE. I mean, very clean display, not as big as the Bronco, but more refined in its own way. More of a refined interior, nice handling, like more luxurious feel, already grabbing the steering wheel, seating position, looking out into the front windshield. I know I can just get in this and drive this to Florida, like right now. Go on a 16 hour road trip, no problem. Going from the Bronco into this, I'm already more comfortable. Now this does have some off-road capabilities. It's not gonna run over a car like the Bronco can, but it does have air suspension here. You have your AC controls, you have your Apple CarPlay, wireless Apple CarPlay like the Bronco has. Very responsive, you know, touch screen. Yeah, you know, this is, this is just more comfortable. Cheaper than the Bronco. These drive nice. Now, Power is obviously considerably less. You're not gonna have like amazing exhaust noises, but this is something you can go out and you know drive in any day of the week. More of a comfortable drive. Have the off-road capabilities. Not as good as the Bronco, but yeah, you could take it off-roading. It's a Defender. It's what it was meant to do. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just like it's a hard comparison. I think the Bronco gives you more of like that fun factor. Like you have a smile the whole time you're driving it, but kind of at the end you're like. All right, like, have I reached my destination yet? You know what I mean? You're like, are we done yet? But the Defender is is just more of an easy get in, let's go. Everyone hop in, I'll drive you guys anytime, any place, anywhere. That's how I feel about the differences between the two. But the Defender has been a very popular vehicle for a long time. Definitely a, a car that was going over sticker, still is going over sticker, you know, in a sense, very similar to the Bronco. You know, looking between the two, one's gonna be more expensive to service, fix and all that kind of stuff, you know, obviously, but uh, you know, it's just basically, do you want a vehicle that has some refined luxury to it? Or do you just wanna go balls to the wall you know, I'm going off-roading this like at any minute kind of kind of ride, you know what I mean? But again, I think they're two very good vehicles that could, that you could like, you know, go up against. You know, like if someone came in wanting to buy the Ford Bronco Raptor, you could say, hey, go drive, go drive a Range Rover Defender, Land Rover Defender, you know? It could probably turn heads. We, ha we have sold a ton of Defenders. If anyone's watching this video again and they're 
maybe interested in the two. Both of them are on our website at jsautohouse.com. We have 50 Range Rovers, 50 Land Rovers in stock. We have one Ford Bronco Raptor at this moment. And if anyone's interested, and if anyone has any comments, if I missed anything, if anyone wants to add any of their opinion on which one they'd rather own, comment below. If you guys like the comparison, if you want me to do more comparisons, comment below what you guys think I should compare next time. I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I like to look look good and I like to look slick when I'm driving. So I guess, like, I'd go with the Defender. But the Bronco Raptor has, like, a special place in my heart. But if I had to pick one of them, you know, screw it. I picked the Bronco Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing I'll add about driving this car and how you feel driving it is it's very James Bond-esque. Like you can get up one morning, put a suit on and get in this car, no problem. But like, you know, the Bronco Raptor right next to us right now, you know, you can't, you can't like, you can't get up in the morning and put a suit on and get in that car and feel like, you know, I did the right thing. You need a flannel. That's one thing I, uh, that's one way I feel about this vehicle driving it, but Again, let me know what you guys think. If you guys liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.